Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a user to Instagram account. Before we start, hurry up and check out the stuff for just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to access business.facebook.com. So this will actually open up Meta Business Suite. Now, in this case, for you to actually add access or add users to your Instagram account, what we need to do first is we need to make sure that we connect our Facebook page with our Instagram account, which in this case, our Instagram account should be a creator or a business account. So if you want to learn how to do that, make sure to check our page. We actually have a tutorial for that. But in this case, uh, once you've connected your Instagram account into your Facebook page here, usually you will have the connect to Instagram option here. But in this case, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we now need to access our settings. Now, at the bottom left, you should be able to see settings here. Let's go ahead and click on it. From here, you want to go to users and you want to go to people. Now, from here, go ahead and click on invite people at the top right here. Now, from here, you can go ahead and indicate the email address that you want to invite to your, uh, in this case, your page here. In this case, you can also add additional settings here, like temporary access if you want to remove their access on a specific uh, day, or if you want to give them meta spark access in here. But in this case, let's go and click on next. Now, in this case, you now need to assign, assign the access itself. So in this case, you have partial access. So it might be basic here. So uh, basic access or to the page itself, apps and integration if you want to allow that and full control. But in this case, make sure to only give full control access to people that you trust. Do not give this uh, just randomly or just to anyone in this case. But once this case, once you're uh, done, you can go and click on next here. And from here, you need to assign the asset itself. So in this case, you go ahead and select your account here. So in this case, you should be able to see your Facebook page as well as your Instagram account. So in this case, you should be able to see Instagram here, but sometimes it's going to say log in for settings and let you give uh, people, uh, partners, app access to manage the uh, Instagram account here. So in this case, what we need to do now, if that option or in this case, Instagram is actually disabled, what you need to do is you need to actually close this one. Let's go and click on the yes, close option here. You want to go to accounts here, click on Instagram accounts and make sure that you re-log in into your account. But once you've done that, you should have the option for Instagram now available to you. In this case, let's go and go back here. We want to choose our asset. Let's go and click on confirm selection. And from here, we want to actually indicate the access. So partial access here, you could add content, messages, community activity, ads, inside, and if you want to give full control. In this case, once you've selected the options here, you're going to click on next here and just need to review the information that you'll be doing. And once you've done that, just click on send invitation and they just need to accept the invitation that they'll be receiving on their email for them to actually start accessing your Instagram account. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.